In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a quiz or exam that draws randomly from a question bank or multiple question banks. To get started, you need to go to quizzes and then go to question banks. So ideally, you have some question bank built already in here. If you haven't done that, uh, when you first start build your quiz, you might want to come here and add your question bank, like chapter 7. And then you go to this chapter 7 question bank and start to add your questions. Okay, after that is done, you go to modules and start to add an exam. For instance, I'm going to add a midterm exam drawing randomly from chapter 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to create a quiz, a new quiz called midterm. I'm going to put it under the exam group. If you haven't created this group, uh, I'm going to show you how to create this group. After I finish doing this, I'm going to add this item. So now, now I have a midterm exam. Before I move any further, uh, I need to go to assignments and show you where to add the groups. Okay. The under assignments, assignment is a, an area where you can organize your content. I have an exams uh, group created, so I can put that uh, midterm exam under this. So if you do not have these categories, you might want to create the category first by adding this adding group. Okay. Now let's go back to modules. Now I have a midterm exam here. It is unpublished. It doesn't have any content to it. And now to change that, I need to click on it. And then I need to edit it. And you will see there are two tabs. One is called a settings. To add questions, you click on questions. Right now you see I don't have anything. But I know that I have question um, banks that I can use. So instead of building new questions or creating a new question groups you find questions from the question banks okay I click on find questions here this will show um, all the question banks that I have access to so I'm going to choose something from chapter 1 and I'm going to select all of them uh, here is something pretty important. After you select all of them, you have to scroll all the way to the end. And here you will see there is an option for you to add questions to the question group. So I'm going to uh, click here. And I don't have any group, so I'm going to create a new group. And I'm going to call this group 1, because that comes from chapter 1. And I'm going to pick 10 questions. And each one is going to be worth 1 point. And then I click on Create group and then I click on add questions okay, now see what happens okay so now Canvas is going to populate this group with all the questions from chapter 1 but on the top you will see that uh, all the questions are within this group right now group 1 and it's going to pick 10 questions each one worth one point so uh, that finishes uh, chapter one let's do chapter two so you repeat the same process uh, you find questions and you go to chapter two and you select all of them or particular ones that you would prefer to use and then you scroll all the way to the end and you create a new group I'm going to call this group two this time you will notice that uh, Canvas automatically populates some of the content here for you for your convenience but you can change this anytime for instance I want to change I want to choose like uh, 15 questions from this group and each one is going to be worth two points this time then I'm going to create this group and add the selected questions now it's going to create group 2 for me and then I'm going to choose something from chapter 3 select all go to the end create a new group 
and this time I call it group 3. So well, this time I need to pick, let's say, five questions, each one with two points, create group, and select the questions. And then after you have finished doing that, make sure you save it. Okay, after you have saved the questions, you can go back to the quizzes and click on edit. And then you change the settings. So I want to make this due on this day at midnight. And I'm going to set the time limit to five minutes. I want to allow multiple attempts allow two attempts taking the highest score so after all of this has been set i'm going to save and publish the exam 